Greetings, Church. Welcome to week 21 of the WMBC Bible Reading Plan. This time of year is one of my favorite times of year. The grass is green, the trees are flowering, the birds are back and chirping away. But probably my favorite part is the longer days, the ever-increasing amount of daylight that lets me stay up later, either visiting on the deck with family or doing chores. I am energized by the light and have hope for the coming months. So the passage from John that I'm going to focus on today is where Jesus proclaims that he is the light of the world. And I really want us to spend some time contemplating what that means. Jesus as a light is common imagery, seemingly easy to grasp, but I hope that the Holy Spirit would lead us into an even deeper understanding of what it means in general and specifically for us. So I'm going to read the passage from John 8:12 a few times. And in between readings, I encourage you to sit with the image of Jesus as light and ask God to help deepen your understanding. I also encourage you to enter into conversation with him and feel free to ask him what this means for you today. So get comfortable. You may close your eyes or keep them open. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Dear Jesus, show me in my innermost being that you are the light of the world. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Dear Jesus, what does it mean that you are the light of the world? When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Dear Jesus, how are you shining your light in my life and in the world around me? Amen. So to close, I'd like to read to you a poem written by Jan Richardson in her book, Circle of Grace, a book of blessings for the seasons. It is entitled, How the Light Comes. I cannot tell you how the light comes. What I know is that it is more ancient than imagining that it travels across an astounding expanse to reach us, that it loves searching out what is hidden, what is lost, what is forgotten or in peril or in pain, that it has a fondness for the body, for finding its way toward flesh, for tracing the edges of form, for shining forth through the eye, the hand, the heart. I cannot tell you how the light comes, but that it does, that it will, that it works its way into the deepest dark that enfolds you. Though it may seem long ages in coming, 
or arrive in a shape you did not foresee. And so may we this day turn ourselves toward it. May we lift our faces to let it find us. May we bend our bodies to follow the arc it makes. May we open and open more and open still to the blessed light that comes. Have a great week.